What makes this problem challenging is the fact that the variable x, whose value we are trying to solve for is in the argument of the log. And if that is not enough to make the problem complicated, x is in the argument on both sides of the equation. So how are we going to solve it? The first thing that we are going to do is rewrite the one on the right hand side to match the other terms in the equation. So let's write one as log to the base 2 of 2. Next, let's use the product rule of logarithms on the right hand side and get log to the base 2 of 2 times 2 to the power x minus 2 to the power minus x. Next, we're going to do some math magic and on the right hand side add the power of 2 for the two terms inside the argument of the log function. And all this while, we did not touch the left hand side even once. We now have log to the base 2 of 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power minus x on the left hand side equal to the log to the base 2 of 2 to the power 1 plus x minus 2 to the power 1 minus x on the right hand side. Since it is log to the power base 2 on both sides, this means that the arguments equal each other. We will now gather terms with the positive power of x on the left hand side and the terms with the negative power of x on the right hand side. Continuing our math magic, we factor out 2 to the power x on the left hand side and 2 to the power minus x on the right hand side. And that gives us 2 to the power x equal to 2 to the power minus x times 3. Now remember, our goal is to solve for x. So we want x on one side of the equation. And to do so, divide both sides of the equation by 2 to the power minus x to bring all the x terms on the left hand side. This gives us 2 to the power 2x equals 3. Now, x is sitting up in the power of 2. How do we bring it down? Well, we write the equation 2 to the power 2x equal to 3 in the form of logarithm. That is, log to the base 2 of 3 equals 2x. Now divide both sides by 2 and that gives us the value of x equal to 1 half times log to the base 2 of 3.